Alright, so I thought I'd just do a quick little video and talk about some of the, the studio magic you can use to make things sound a lot better than they actually are. Just, what you just have to use all the time. So the first thing is a pretty obvious one. You take a couple of takes of the same thing. So I've got this look, right? So it's okay, it's passable, it's a bit sloppy. So I did a few of those, uh, and this one I think was a better one. I think this is one I ended up using. So still not perfect, but you know, perfectly serviceable. I think these were licks from my uh, cleaner tips for, for playing guitar uh, video, so I'll link to that in the corner with the little eye there. And in all honesty, in terms of putting out regular content, the, the editing of clips and making them sound better than they are is just a huge part of it. You're limited in how much time you can spend on this. But anyway, the first thing, your first port of call, let's go to this one here that was a bit better sounding, is to just add in a little bit of EQ, okay? So... So I'll start with the EQ off and then I'll put it on part of the way through the lick and you'll hear a wee bit of a shift in the sound. Okay, so I'm taking out a bit of fizz, a bit of kind of low end, so I'll talk through what I'm doing here. First thing is, on guitar there's usually a pretty nasty sound somewhere between 3.5 and, and maybe 5.5k. Usually around 4k is a good place to start and go up and down from there. So here I decided to do a wee 5 dB reduction at this frequency. Now, the easiest way to um, figure out where you want to reduce the frequency is in fact to boost it. So, you kind of, you can, I'll boost this so you can hear this kind of dis disgusting frequency boosted, right? <laughs> Right, so basically I wanted to cut that. This is it, just flat. And then if I put, was it, minus five or something I had on it. So it's very subtle. But now that your brain's probably tuned into that kind of shh frequency, You, you can probably hear it coming in. And it's just a similar idea for these ones. There's a bit of a honk around this kind of 743. Usually my, uh, a lot of my guitars kind of honk about 750 or something there I take out. So that's a kind of mid-range one. I'll pop that on. Again, let's boost it. And reduce it again. So pretty subtle, but it does tidy things up a bit. And this is a kind of lower mid one here, so let's uh, boost that and then reduce it again. It's so very honky. So tiny little changes, and this low one I've hardly done anything with. I've just put off a tiny bit of the low end, so we'll hear that with and without. So these are all by themselves very subtle, but when you put them together... It does just tidy up the sound of it. So if we look at the plugins, this is where some of the more kind of interesting stuff comes in. The Cubase EQ, I don't think it's particularly good to be honest. It just gives you four bands, it doesn't let you be that accurate, so I often use the Reaper. Uh, EQ to, to tidy stuff up. So what I've done is I've lumped off more of the low end, I've taken off some of this high, and then these ones here, three and two, these kind of, those frequencies you don't really like in between kind of three and, um, you know, kind of four and a half or five K. And again, I don't know why I've put two on here. That uh, seems a bit strange, but I've, I've decided to do that and I've gone absolutely mad with this one. So this one is probably going to tidy up the sound an awful lot. So let's have a listen to with these on and off. Yeah, so you can hear this one. It's tidying it up, but it's making it quite mid-rangey, quite honky. So I suspect this one, I just did lots of um, cutting to tidy it up even further, take out some of the mid-range that this one sort of adds in. Yeah. So that's too tinny. That's a bit too mid-rangey and together. Still a bit tinny, a bit on the kind of high end, but you know, it's, it's, uh, the purpose of this is to kind of clean up the low end so you can hear the notes and have just enough treble that it's okay without being too irritating. I'm not too sure if I decided to do this as two separate plugins, but, but I did. And the next thing I've got here is a compressor. I probably don't need to compress guitar too much to start guitar because it's compressed already. But what this will do is just tidy things up again. This is just like a fancy way of EQing the way I'm using it here. I'll pop it off. 
Yeah. So it's probably added a bit too much of the mid-range in hindsight, but I've really taken off that kind of scrapey bees in a tin can sound. Next is just another bit of EQ. Uh, so let's listen to this one on and off. Let's pop it on. Cool, so I've added in some of the high end here, but high end that I kind of like the sound of. So this is a high end here, this was a high end here, so that's maybe so about 8k I've added in. I've actually added in a bit of low mids at 350, which is quite unusual, and I've added in a tiny wimp down at this kind of lower frequency here. So you can hear it's just, it's just all these things are just doing tiny little changes to it, right? This is a pretty cool plugin, it just makes things sound a little bit better. It's basically like a, a dual kind of delay. And the reason this is good is because it gives you like a a, a little bit extra delay. It blurs the notes together, and if if you played a wee bit sloppily, it can kind of hide it a little bit. So I've got one side panned off to the left at just thirty five milliseconds. So that's almost like a kind of slap back. Uh, one side panned off really hard to the right, so that's in the right speaker only at three fifty. So that's a bit of a delay. I've also changed the pitch. So the one on the left is negative point nine. Uh, semitones, a, a tiny bit lower in pitch and the other one's a tiny bit higher in pitch and this is a great way of getting a kind of more professional kind of lush sounding guitar and here I've kind of cropped off the low end so it's not really putting any signal below 120 in here it's not putting it below 400, I've left all the high end in because I, I must have wanted a bit more sparkle so we'll have that off and then pop, pop it on and on So I suppose I'm almost using this like a stereo in hand, so you can probably hear it just, the sound just feels a bit bigger. It gets kind of wider. If you're wearing earphones, you'll hear this more accurately. So I'll we'll pop that on and off again. And one more time. So just a little bit more lush, right? And uh, the next thing I've done is added an even more delay because that will hide all my slop even more. So <laughs> uh, let's start with that off. We'll listen to it. And pop it on. So again, quite subtle. This is on a kind of crossfade. So there's two delays. Again, a short one, 22 milliseconds. That's hardly doing anything. And then one at 608. So that's more of a kind of proper delay. And again, like you can, you can hear it. So I'll pull up the wet here so you can really hear it. So that's getting a bit over the top in 80s. So I've left it this kind of subtle uh, thing just kind of down here, you know, just, just coming in a little bit. The final thing I've done is add in yet another EQ. I've gone EQ crazy on this one. And what have I done here? Right, so I've boosted the low end a tiny bit. I've cut out that bang on 4K, I've dipped that a bit, and I've added in a bit of 12K for some really high kind of frequency. So let's keep that off and then pop it back on. And on. Toggle between them. So yeah, that's adding in a tiny bit of beef in that low end, making it sound a bit fuller, because there's no other instruments here, it's just a guitar, so I can get away with having this kind of low end to some extent. Uh, adding in this really kind of high end, where you normally have the kind of cymbals or stuff like that, but again, there's just a guitar in this clip, so I, I don't need to worry about other instruments. And taking away that 4K, because it's a bit nasty, so I will boost the 4K just to kind of prove the point of why you probably don't want it in a guitar signal. Really nails on a blackboard. So there's a lot of plugins. Uh, that most of them are doing EQing in hindsight. This one and kind of delays and stereo enhancement. So if you're wanting it in a nutshell, and I'll put a timestamp to this, but add in EQ to take out nasty sounds. Add in a kind of more uh, broad EQ to add in some nicer sounds that you've taken out by mistake. Add in something that's going to be a kind of delay stereo enhancer and a kind of a another delay to make it sound a bit more lush. So in comparison, if I turn all that stuff off, right, and then we put it on, it will hopefully just sound a bit a bit more bit more lush right so everything off perfectly serviceable tone but a little bit raw everything on 
So the, the, the thing I was looking for here is really note definition. So you can hear here. You can hear the notes, but it's, it's a wee bit scrapey, a wee bit thin. This is just kind of fanning up and hiding a bit of the slop, really. It's probably a bit too mid range it's probably a bit too low, it could maybe do with a bit more high. But like I said, it's just a guitar, so that's all I needed for it. So I'll do the same thing on another clip here, everything off, everything on, you can hear how it's all working together. So here's another kind of string skippy one, everything off. It's okay, but the note definition isn't clear. A tiny bit of EQ makes a bit of a difference. And then all the special stuff to make it sound better than it actually is. So here's another string skit one, let's go over that. Again, serviceable, but not great. Put on the, the, the magic, the magic sauce to make it sound better. I say better, you might hear that tone, you might think it's too mid-rangey, but to me, it, it just, everything sounds a little bit cleaner. So this is the final one I'm going to look at here. This was quite heavily pan-muted, right? So you, you can hear the notes, but they're a wee bit undefined. Again, the EQ in this is just going to make it more clear. So I have finally found a way to record Cubase directly through OBS using a Reaper of all things because Cubase doesn't facilitate it. Why I still use this 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 as a doll, I don't know, but there we are. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, let me know. You can support the channel through Patreon, you can subscribe or you can check out the other videos on the screen. But cheers guys, have a good one.